ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Time Well Spent, a show where we cook, eat and talk about the Word of God. Today in this episode, we are going to talk about the Word first. And then our second half will show you how to prepare shrimp avocado salad and yogurt cake. First of all, let's go to the Word. The Word of God today is coming from the book of Isaiah 44, verse 22 downwards. Now, what is the will of God for your life? What is God's will for your life? We have to understand that nobody can take the will of God from for your life. I know many people will ask, how can I know the will of God for my life? Yes, it's a good question. It's not about your desires. It's not about what you want. It's not about what exactly you're looking for. It's all about what God wants for you. The will of God can never be changed by a man. It can never be changed by a prophet. It can never be changed by a pastor. So all you have to do, first of all, is to give your life to Christ. Depend on God. Trust God as your only Lord and Savior. Let Jesus Christ be your Lord and Savior. Trust that He is your maker. He is your rewarder. Believe in Him. And then He will open your eyes to see His will for your life. Now, the second thing I want you to understand is that all these things can never happen if you don't have faith. Let your faith man grow so you can understand where God is taking you to. And you have to believe that God's will for your life will come to pass. There's no need to pray and without believing because it's not going to come to pass. I want you to understand, remember, God is the maker. He is our maker. He knows everything about us. So there is nothing you think he doesn't know. Though he is the maker of heaven and earth, though he is our father, and I will still say he is the only one that has the will of our life. Now I want to give you an example. King David. David was very anointed. David was rich. God favored David. God was with, was with David. But he went through trials and tribulations. His own son was trying to kill him. But because he was in the will of God, God protected him. So that's why I want to beg you all out there. There is no need to begin to trust prophets, trust pastors, trust your, your sisters, your brothers. You only need to believe in God and trust God alone. Don't worship your pastor. Don't worship prophets out there. Prophecy can never take you to where God is taking you to. Only God can make prophecy to come to pass. That's why I want to say again, stop giving the devil credit. Because all we do today as Christians, we blame the devil for anything that is wrong. Anything that goes wrong, we cry the devil. Anything that happens wrong, we cry the devil. But believe me, it's not always about the devil. Sometimes God allowed things to happen to us for a purpose. He is all-knowing. He knows why he allowed them to happen. Look at Jesus Christ. Jesus was the son of God. He could turn anything to something. But God allowed him to go through trials and tribulation. He went through the desert. He was tormented by the devil. But guess what? Because he was in the will of God, he came out. That's what I'm saying. So all you have to do is to stop giving the devil the credit. Just believe in God that his will will come to pass in your life. But remember, you need to have faith. You have to believe that his will will come to pass in your life. And you have to stay in his presence. Do his will. Do the work of God. Respect the word of God. Obey it. Practice it day and night. Anything you do, always have a heart and ask yourself, what is the Bible saying? Remember, everything about the will of God, everything about God's direction is in the Bible. Thank you so much for listening. This has been the word from Time Well Spent. Stay tuned and I'll bring to you our Time Well Spent kitchen. We have a delicious yogurt cake and we have a very delicious shrimp avocado salad you will love. Thank you. Bye-bye. Welcome to Time Well Spent. This is uh, a recipe. I want to show you how to prepare yogurt cake. You can see and have some yogurt. I prefer to use low-fat yogurt. I have eggs, baking powder, 
one cup of sugar I have one cup of vegetable oil and then you can see my flour I'm gonna measure one cup of three cups of flour I'm gonna mix them up and I have my pan ready to go I already um, put my pan uh, with flour in it I'm just going to get started and I'll show you stay tuned as I show you how to to make yogurt cake The first thing I want to do is to put the oven to 350 degrees so it can stay hot while I mix the cake. Three hundred and fifty degrees. I want my oven. So here I have one cup of yogurt and a cup of sugar. I'm just going to blend this. You see, this is how it looks like after you blend it next thing you want to do is to put a cup of vegetable oil the simple way i can tell you about this recipe to remember it is one is to three it means one cup of yogurt is to three cups of flour is to one cup of sugar into is to three eggs is to one teaspoon of baking powder so this is my a cup of vegetable oil i'm going to add it to it Now I'm doing my wet ingredients, I'm going to blend it. So this is how it looks like after you, you mix. I'm going to put in here my eggs, three eggs. I'm going to do healthy eggs. Just keep stirring. You can see, see it is so smooth. Eggs, yogurt, vegetable oil, sugar. See, I've blended everything. It's well mixed. The next thing I'm going to put in this cake will be dry ingredients. I'm going to put some flour and some baking powder. Three cups of flour and one teaspoon of baking powder. We can see it has a dropping consistency. It means the cake is ready. I'm gonna give it a stir again and I'll put it on the baking sheet, baking pan, and I'll toss it in the oven. So it's gonna bake for like 45 minutes. I'm gonna use a flat baking pan, you see? So I might not put it for too long. So by 40, 35, 40 minutes, I should be checking my cake just watch and see how it comes out i put my cake in the oven so it's after 30 35 minutes since it's a flat pan we should be checking our cake ladies and gentlemen welcome once more um i'm about to show you next to prepare how to prepare shrimp avocado salad these are my ingredients for my shrimp avocado salad. You can see I use lettuce. You can use spinach or you can use any different kinds of lettuce that you like. Or you can use a kale leaf. Here I have vegetable oil. We're not going to use all that oil. We're just going to use the oil to saute our shrimp. You see I have sliced tomatoes for decoration and to go to the plate directly on the salad i have chopped onion and i have some chopped tomato we're not going to use all of these but and then i have celery and parsley chopped already and you can see my avocado i have my mixing bowl ready and my knife and my spoon and cutter so follow me as i show you how to do avocado shrimp salad it's very delicious you can eat this with toasted bread 
and it's so good now watch and see the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna saute my shrimp saute is a bold word i'm just gonna put it in a little bit of oil and avocado a little bit of oil i mean to say and uh, some onions i'll cook it like i'm gonna saute fry it i will show you what to do just watch and see first things saute the shrimp mm. I'll add salt and pepper, a little bit of black pepper, I love black pepper in my shrimp, Just onion smell, celery, and I think our shrimp is ready, just put it there. Is ready for our salad. Now that our shrimp is ready, it's right here on the salad tray. I'm about to make, first of all, my lettuce is washed and is dried. You want to make sure you wash your lettuce to take away all the sun and make sure the water drains out of the lettuce. Now I'm going to prepare my avocado. I'm not just going to cut it like that. I'm going to prepare my avocado. Watch and see. This is how I cut my avocado in cubes. You don't really want to make it puree, just cubes. And this avocado, I'm going to put some lime. You can put lemon if you want, but I really want lime to bring out the sour nature of it. It has a special taste. I'm going to put some mayonnaise, onions, and celery with some sliced tomato in here. Follow me. So you can see I've put my onion tomato celery and parsley chopped a little bit of mayonnaise don't put too much because the pear already have some oil it's gonna mix together and you can see here is lime juice so i'm just gonna mix this really nicely just gonna mix it together not too much and i'll put a pinch of salt just a pinch of salt This is my shrimp and avocado salad. This is so beautiful. You see? I like to eat it like this without dressing. But if you like, you can do oil and vinegar for your dressing. But I like it like that because the avocado and the mayonnaise and the lime juice goes together with the lettuce and the shrimp. So I don't need dressing for this salad. You can see my avocado. That's beautiful. Stay tuned, don't go away. Enjoy. Bon appetit. <music>